Once you have your throw line in the tree, you want to use that line to haul up your climbing line. You do this by tying the two together. Unfortunately, you can't just tie a big honking knot because that knot is not likely to move smoothly over the tree limb. Back in the day, when the Earth was new and dinosaurs roamed the planet, we used to tie our throw line to our climbing rope with a series of half hitches or clove hitches. That's all very well and good, but every once in a while it would fail, especially in Costa Rica, where we were hauling limb ropes high up over bromeliad and crested limbs. To fix this problem, we borrowed some wisdom from the challenge course industry. Get yourself one of these guys, and light her up. Find a nail or a metal rod, and get it nice and hot. Then you want to take that metal rod and plunge it into the end of the climbing rope, about a centimeter or so from the end of the line. Give it a couple wiggles until it burns all the way through. Now you're going to take a short length of parachute cord and tie it through that hole, join it with the double fisherman's knot. Position the knot, double fisherman's knot, right at the end of the rope and wrap up the whole thing in duct tape. Kind of looks like this. We found this connection to be very robust. I haven't broken one yet. Meanwhile, back out in the field, you're going to throw your throw bag over a limb. When it comes back down the ground, you're going to find it and untie the throw line. Tie the throw line onto your newly created haul loop. Don't forget to put your throw bag in your pocket so you don't lose it. We tend to use a bolin to attach the throw line to the haul loop because it's easy to untie even after it's been loaded. Sarah's demonstrating the slip knot method of tying uh, a bolin, which takes a lot of the trickiness out of tying that knot. Once she has the throw line attached, she'll walk over to the other side and start pulling on the other side of the throw line. At first it's going to be fairly easy to pull. Resistance will go up, especially as she's forgotten to uncoil the uh, rope on the ground on the other side. You'll feel a little bit of resistance when the rope goes over the limb and come back down the other side. If you can't get the rope to go over the limb, Try changing the angle of pull, particularly if you can walk backwards or uphill. That's very useful. If you still can't pull the climbing rope over, lower it back down and try tying the rope on the other side of the throw line. Very often, going up in the other direction will solve the problem.